Jalen was shot more times than I can count. And that is beyond troubling. We are done dying like this. They want to turn him into a masked monster with a gun. And we knew that. But I want to thank the chief for one thing he said. At the time he was shot more than 90 or 60 or whatever the unbelievable number will be, he was unarmed. We cannot villainize Jalen. This is a young man who just last Sunday was with his family and was with his grandmother and was helping put chairs out on the porch. His smile, who he was, how he interacted with his family, that's who Jalen was. And efforts to try and paint him in a different light, that's spin, that's protection. We're here for transparency. We are not here for spin. We are here for accountability. We are not here for protection. We understand that the night before there had been an attempt to stop him that resulted in Jalen leaving the area. We don't know more details than that. And we are embracing that fact because he went home to bed that night. On this night, he went to the morgue. So one department got it right, another department got it wrong. The freshest time for people to remember the most critical details about what happened is at the actual time that it happened. Witness statements are best taken just then. Witness statements are not best taken perhaps after someone has an opportunity, if in fact this happens, to watch the video frame by frame in slow motion and then remember the events afterwards. So in the work that I've done in over 30 years, the best, most accurate statement is one taken right then and there. You sit the person down and you have him write it out then and there. You don't let a week go by.